Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more side course today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the camp store, side cores are just that cheap today. Frozen solid. Hmm, hmm. It looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. One. Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Duggan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, you guys are good. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Ha! 
Excuse me. I told you them burgers ain't ready. But uh, no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. Maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs, and you can turn them in for Psy cards. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your Psy powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Ah, now here. Now with that, you can. Ah, now here's something every young Psy cadet needs. Now with that, now you take that Psy core there, put it together. Mmm, dream fluffs, delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Now. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Now, you take that psi core there, put it together with nine psi cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new psi challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. That's it for now. All right, go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. Not by now! Yeah! Or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. Kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact, so I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive! Well, nice knowing you. You? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. 
watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils? Hey, not fair! Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? I'm hiding. And I thought... Oh, Nils. When will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you'd just see yourself staring back. I mean... He'd see me Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner.
thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool! Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! One of the buttons is missing. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. Ha. So what are we gonna learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Lot about head explosion, and I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler, and we'll begin. Brain tumbler. So. What's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue.
Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Yeah. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Uh-oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Aha! Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here!
What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming-eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Um, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Cruller? Or somewhere else? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? 
What's happening? Nothing, nothing. Prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Side blast? Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Kreller? Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control. And that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Good shooting, Raz, but you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to practice locking your mental focus. It makes targeting and evasive maneuvers much easier. Let's try again. This time, lock your mental focus. Good shooting, Raz, but you need to practice. It makes targeting. Let's try again. This time, lock your mental focus.
Come now, focus. Try it again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you Psy Blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you, so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as... three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Hmm, they're coming out faster, but still not fast enough. Mm, still not fast enough. Still not fast enough. No. Hey! No. Mm, still not fast enough. Mm, still not fast enough. Come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Rasputin, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. 
Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. them all. One leak down and another springs up. Well, come on, we've got to take care of these too.
Blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh. So, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin. Very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge! Horseplay Rasputin. Destroy him! Oh, those little sensors are re-energizing the big ones somehow. So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again.
I want to shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. creation. I command you to stop. Dang. Does that ever work?
boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, Doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep, mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind. But I don't want to. Shh, 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 Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta claim this spooky thorn tower. Okay, what the hell was that? I'm seeing some crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ugh, why did I buy the cheap brain tumbler? No way to get me higher. You must use your levitation power. I don't know how to levitate. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey! Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge.
Where would you like me to take you, Agent Kreller? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Wait to burn. S hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad? He hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? You can do it. Great! Great! Now, burn the rest. Focus. You're getting warmer. Keep going. Burn them! Ooh, it's getting hot in here! Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. You can do it! Think heat! Excellent work! Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but... You have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs>